So by now, most of you have probably studied a little bit about the ongoing pandemic, that is the COVID-19. And a lot of you must have educated yourself regarding the various aspects of COVID-19. So in this video, we are going to look at some of the basic features of the coronavirus, the novel coronavirus or the COVID-19 that has created a havoc throughout the world and WHO i.e. World Health Organization has declared it to be a pandemic. Well, COVID-19, this is the fourth pandemic in the last 100 years and before this, the pandemic that had occurred was in 1918, the influenza pandemic. So, in this video, we're going to divide it into different segments where we'll talk about the basics of coronaviruses then we'll talk about how does the vi virus actually look and also the epidemiology and the recent statistics on the pandemic and lastly we're going to see what are the treatment and the preventive measures for the disease so starting off with the coronavirus, coronaviruses are a group of related viruses that causes disease in birds as well as mammals. And in humans, coronavirus causes respiratory tract infection, uh, which can range from mild, like common cold that we have, to some lethal cases such as SARS or MARS, which are severe acute respiratory syndrome that is SARS and Middle East respiratory syndrome that is MARS and also the new disease in town that is the COVID-19. Now if we take a look back, the SARS and MARS are caused by viruses that are called SARS coronavirus or SARS-CoV and MARS coronavirus or MARS-CoV and detailed investigations have found out that these were transmitted, that is the viruses, were transmitted to humans from civet cats in case of SARS-CoV and camels in case of MARS-CoV. And now if you take a look at the novel coronavirus, that is the NCoV-19, that is what is uh, they're calling it. The N is for the novel coronavirus 19 because it was discovered in 2019. Uh, it is called the SARS-CoV-2 because it is quite similar to the SARS coronavirus which caused the SARS epidemic in 2002 and since it, it is a little mutated and uh, does not exactly look like the SARS or does not e exactly have the contents of the SARS so it is called the SARS-CoV-2. Now, since animals are reservoirs of these viruses, they tend to mutate over time and start infecting humans. For SARS-CoV-2, that is the novel coronavirus, it has been declared the virus hopped on to pangolins, which uh, sort of looks like a hybrid between an anteater and an armadillo. And finally, from the pangolins, it jumped onto the humans. Now let's see how the virus looks like. So the virus has a viral envelope, which is a bilayer where the spike proteins are anchored to. It's exactly like the SARS-CoV. Apart from that, the surface has got other proteins like the hemagglutinin esterase, which is shortly called the HE protein. And inside the envelope, there is the nucleocapsid, which is formed from multiple copies of the N protein since the nucleocapsid protein is called the N protein and the virus has got a genome of RNA and the N protein is in a continuous conformation with the RNA genome of the virus and how the virus infects the novel coronavirus like SARS-CoV uses ACE2 or angiotensin converting enzyme 2 as a receptor which is present on the cell surface 
as uh, they bind to the ACE2 and eventually is endocytosed and finally uses the host machinery to replicate its genome and form multiple virus particles which can go out of that cell and start infecting other cells of the body. So what is the epidemiology and what is the recent statistics on the pandemic? Well, the age class above 60 years are more prone to disease because at this age, the immunity starts to drop and the body starts becoming immunocompromised. The disease is also seen in quite a cases for the ages below 9 years since at this age, the immunity has not yet developed to a better extent. And in the present scenario, there is more than 200,000 confirmed cases all over the world with more than 80,000 confirmed cases in China itself where the virus had first emerged in a city named Wuhan. Now, this animation shows the spread of the disease from China to the rest of the world in the last three months. And in the Indian scenario, there are 169 confirmed cases, out of which there are three deaths by the COVID-19. So finally, how do we treat or prevent the disease from happening? Now, some vaccines are being developed, but no antivirals regarding the disease are available right now in the market. So that sort of eliminates out the treatment part because you're not having any medicine or, anti uh, or antivirals for the disease. Now all we can do is to prevent it from getting into us. And before that, let's talk about the symptoms a little bit. The symptoms of this disease are dry cough, breathing discomfort, and fever, but the symptoms alone cannot confirm the disease of COVID-19. So prop testing at a medical facility is a must. But if someone is facing the symptoms, they should be taking extra care of their health and immediately call the helpline number of the respective country. And some good practices would be to prevent the disease, not to touch our eyes, nose and mouth as frequently as we do because those are the major routes of infection. Number two would be to washing our hands frequently enough with proper hand washes and stuff. Next, covering the nose and mouth while we are sneezing or coughing because that prevents the aerosolized particles of the viruses to uh, travel to other persons. And if someone is having fever, he or she should be wearing a mask and others should keep a distance of about one meter from the sick person. And finally, everyone is advised to stay inside their home till the situation is a bit stable. And uh, everyone is advised to avoid having large gatherings and avoid traveling as these can spread the disease rapidly because uh, quarantining yourself inside your house and uh, preventing to travel I mean not going outside your house or going to any other states or any other country that will help stop stop the spread of the disease and although it has got a massive spread throughout the world but you know preventing yourself from doing this stuff will uh, sp help to stop the disease to spread further.